All right, fishy folks, 7.29 in the morning. I'm actually getting a late start in the fish room. Uh, typically, I'm here sometime between 6 and 6.30, but let's take a look. The lights are on timers, actually smart plugs, so everything's automatic. But it's the first thing I see when I walk in. The fish room's a mess, but it's always a mess. I don't really care. First thing we're going to do is say hi to Taco. What's up, buddy? Now, it's Sunday. So it's shipping day tomorrow. So the pretty much the whole fish room is gonna be fasted except for breeding tanks that I'm not shipping from. Uh, and of course, taco. Uh, so anything that uh, I'm breeding gets fed. Uh, obviously taco gets fed. And if I know for a fact that I'm not shipping something this week, I'll feed that tank as well. But I don't really know right now. So I'm just gonna uh, feed as normal. So here are the uh, super red plecos grow out tank. Um, you know, we're just looking, how is there a ram? Look, there's a ram in this tank. Now the rams are up there. How did that ram get there? I don't know, but stand by, I'm gonna get it out. Well, okay, cause a little stir, but what are you gonna do now? One of the first thing I do is I take a walk in the fish room. I take a look at the tank, see if I see anything out of the ordinary or that needs to be addressed. Occasionally, yeah, you find a dead fish. It happens if you're watching YouTubers and they say they never have dead fish, they're just lying. Cause it's just a fact of life, especially when you have, you know, a thousand fish. Some of them, unfortunately, aren't gonna make it. I uh, hear the Snow White Pleco breeding project there is five in here i see three in the front this is one of the original ones i got the two smaller ones that you see are from mike's bulgarian green um yeah that's that here are the purple mosaics i'm not going to do a full tour in this video because uh a fish room tour is coming soon but you know i just take a walk around i take a look i'm going to turn the lights on and today, like I said, is Sunday, and normally I don't bag any fish on Sunday, but today I am actually meeting someone at a local Wawa. I'm gonna take this off because he bought some angel fish. Uh, so I'm gonna bag his order and then uh, meet him at the local Wawa. So we're just gonna put this in a bucket for now, right there, and then uh, clean that out and dry it. Workbench is a mess. Uh, some packing material. I'm trying some new food for taco. These are Agcor uh, Crumble. Uh, Keith from KG Aquatic sent this to me. And the reason is I've been feeding this, this Excalibur, but I'm almost out of it. And I was selling it, but the owner uh, of the company decided to screw me. So that's a whole nother story. Anywho, uh, yeah. Workbench is a mess. I don't, I'm not apologizing. If it bothers you, I'm sorry. It just is. Uh, Sundays in the fish room are really sort of a cleanup day. If I do work in the fish room, I don't always work in the fish room on a Sunday. Uh, but, you know, I might be cleaning some tanks, uh, cleaning the glass, you know, checking on what's going on. All right. So let's, uh, let's bag some fish. Stand by. All right, this customer in particular ordered four angelfish and six quarries. So I have three viewers or dipping pours, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the quarries will go in one and two angels will go eat each of the second. And that is how I will box. I'm sorry, that's how I will bag them. All right, so I'm going to catch the fish. I don't know if you want to see me catching the fish. I, I mean, it's, it's pretty standard, so I'm not going to film that. Uh, hey, listen, I didn't tell you to get a snack and beverage. So if you need to get a snack and beverage, now is a good time. Pause the video. Go get a snack and beverage. It doesn't matter if it's healthy or not. I don't really care. And stand by. Well, all right. We caught some uh, gold veil angel fish, uh, some ghost veil angel fish. And these are the two I had left, which uh, I'm probably just going to put in my tank upstairs because, uh, yeah. Anywho, here are the blue spotted quarries. Look at how nice they are. Now, I know what you're saying. So, Mike, there's all the snails in the tank. You can't ship them that way. And you're right. I'm not going to. I'm going to take the blue spotted quarries.
quarries out, put them in another different pour, and then uh, the the snails will just get fed to Taco. Do you want to see Taco eat some snails? All right, let me take care of that, and then we'll feed Taco real quick. Stand by. All right, I don't want to pour all this water into Taco's tank, so I'm just going to grab a couple snails, grab some of these. These are little, but he'll eat them. And then grab some of these. They're like little pieces of popcorn for the, the animal that is taco. Look at him, all in his taco-ness. Tank needs some work. We got the uh, green hair algae growing. I don't, I don't really care because it's not a show tank. It's not bothering him. I tell you what though, the java moss in this tank grows very fast. So I do use it to grow java moss for the rest of the, the fish room. But hey buddy, you want some, some snails? Here we go. Uh, warning, there's going to be a live food feeding right now, so if you don't like it, fast forward 30 seconds. Oh, you missed. We'll get them. Oh, yummy. Crunchy and delicious. Good job, buddy. Yeah. All right. Uh, I did also put the quarries in their own uh, dip and pour. All right. Time to bag. Stand by. All right, fishing folks, the last time I filmed from this angle, you guys said you liked it. You didn't want to see the top of my head, so hopefully this angle is a little bit better. You can just see my pretty face and taco. So the first thing I do when I bag fish is I add polyfilter. This absorbs uh, ammonia and nitrite in the water. Just helps them stay a little healthier in shipping. Even if I'm giving somebody fish, um, if I'm not sure that they're going right home or if it's a long ride, I still add it. It's force of habit for me. Um, so I typically add it no matter what I'm doing. You know, someone's picking fish up or they're, I'm shipping them or I'm bringing them to an auction. It's just force of habit. And it's for the benefit of the fish. So we're going to do it. Now, uh, I should be using bigger bags for the angels. But this is the biggest bag I currently have because I don't sell that many angels. So first thing we're going to do, though, is uh, bag the quarries. Now, I just take it like this and simply that's it now quarries sometimes you have to double bag even if you're not shipping oh hold on let me stand by for a second i want to i want to show you the grab see if i can adjust the camera stand by all right this is a very weird angle but this should show you the perfect grab to make sure there's air in the bag just like that and then you spin it oh no they're getting dizzy they don't have an inner ear <clears throat> and that's that now i will probably double bag this because they are quarries and they do have spines that can poke through um the plastic so yeah all right that was the grab i'm gonna bag the rest stand by all right we got the tail we got to cut the tail off I learned this early on in my uh, uh, career of a online retailer, I guess. Um, and I learned it from, can't remember. Ms. Jinx. Uh, I was watching one of her videos about her uh, bagging fish. And uh, she said, I always cut the tail off. It looks better. The bags seal better, whatever. I followed it and I do it to this day, so double bag these bad boys because uh, of their spines normally i wouldn't double bag them unless i was shipping them but we want to make sure there's no leaks and that's that that is a finished package of guppies pretty easy emotional damn it now every customer that in my business gets a card uh with a 10 percent off coupon if you order uh in the next couple months and everybody also gets samples provided by kge aquatics um i have a bunch of different kinds mostly dr bachelier's but some of the other things he sells some of the legit and ad core stuff um and i try i know this sounds funny i try to match what the order is with what the sample is. So if you get bottom feeders like plecos or quarries, you get sinking stuff. If you get guppies or angelfish, you get floating stuff. At least that's what I try to do. And if you have a big order, I just put a ton of samples in there for you so you can try them. It's a great way to see uh, how your fish reacts to some food. 
um, the there's a there's a misdemeanor, a misdemeanor, a misnomer. That's the the word I'm looking for. I need coffee. I haven't had coffee yet today. It's weird. I was playing FIFA this morning. Sorry, sorry, getting off track. Let's let's focus. It's a brain fart. So what happens when you have ADD? I don't I don't know if I have ADD, but I think I do. Adult ADD, ADHD. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, something shiny. Ooh, let's get back on track. So what were we saying? We were saying, I have no idea. I literally have no idea what I was talking about. Oh, samples. I give you a, a lot of samples. All right, I'm going to bag the angels. I'm so sorry. I hope you guys enjoy my dumbness. I'm going to bag the angels, and uh, then I'm, I'll, I'll show you, you know, more stuff as the day goes on. Maybe if I do more stuff. I might not do more stuff, so I'm not going to do more stuff. Nope. I'm not, I'm probably not going to come back to the fish room all day today because it's a fasting day. So I don't need to come down here. Um, that's that. All right. Back some more fish. Stand by. This is just a lesson. I, I don't know why I don't always double bag. These are angel fish and the bag's leaking. See if you can see this. See it. Ooh! Got to rebag them. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this bag and rebag them completely. Some people may just put a bag over that and be done with it. And I can't lie. I thought about doing that. And I thought, what happens if that bag pops a hole? Or what happens if I don't seal the knot good enough and water leaks out while this guy's driving home? I don't want any of that. We're going to rebag them and just be done with it because that's the right thing to do again no inner ear fish don't get dizzy all right now i have a box um i don't know if you know this but the u.s postal service gives free boxes for now i'm sure it's going to change eventually uh so i use the boxes because i ship up usps sometimes I try to do it as little as possible. Um, but for things like regular priority, it is cheaper uh, for the most part. And the service is usually okay. It's the overnight or next day from UPS that's better than USPS. All right, angelfish double bagged. I lifted the box up thinking it was empty, but I had the quarries in there. So we have a, a box here. We're gonna put all the fish in. And then we're going to meet this customer at Wawa and uh, start our day for our regular life. Uh, I also, like I said, I put the coupon in and I'm going to pick a couple of good samples from my sample box. We're going to go with the uh, Dr. Bassilier's Chlorella. I almost didn't say that. I almost didn't pick that one up because uh, I can't always pronounce that word. We'll go with some legit community. Now I know this customer, he has a bunch of, of community tanks and stuff, so it's fine. Um, and <coughs> I'm okay, I'm fine. And some AdCore Vibrant Sticks. Now I personally have never tried these in my fish room, uh, but if Keith sells them, he tests everything on in his fish room, so it's probably really good food. I have tried other AdCore food that I really like, uh, like I said, this in the beginning of the video, this AdCore crumble I'm testing out for taco. Now, if you guys know anything about flower horns, let me know what you think about the AdCore crumble um, for the flower horns. Or what do you feed your flower horns? Let's feed them real quick. You could probably watch from there. I think so. Take a handful, drop it in. Ready? My boy's hungry. He's got to feed that ginormous cock on his head. All right, folks, that does it for bagging in the fish room uh, for today. Uh, I'll be right back. Stand by. Well, I met the guy. I completely forgot to film the Wawa parking lot. Now I'm in the ShopRite parking lot. Going to do my Sunday grocery shopping. So that does it. That's kind of a day in the life, at least a Sunday in the life of Michael from Michael's Fish Room when it comes to the fish room. Guys, if you like what you see, tell all your friends, share the video, comment, and uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up. I don't care if you don't like it, hit thumbs down, that's fine too. And don't forget to check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com, for all your guppy, Corey, and pleco needs.
Well, all right, fishy folks. 728 Sunday morning. What's the temperature outside? Oh, it's only 30. It was brittly, brittly, brittly. It's 30 oh, God. Degrees outside. Thanks. I'm going to start over.